Hi, this is David with TaxLayer Pro, and you've selected the video tutorial working with the business package. To complete a business return, you must first download and install the business package and business updates using the updates menu. Once installed, select Business from the main menu of TaxLayer Pro. You'll now have access to the 1120 Corporation Return, the 1120S Return, the 1065 Partnership Return, the 1041, the 990, the 706 Estate Return, and the 709 Gift Return. Also included is the 5500 Employee Benefit Plan Module. For our tutorial, we'll complete an 1120S S-Corporation return. Begin by entering the company's EIN, and then select Yes to create a new return. Similar to completing an individual return, enter the company name, the date incorporated, the street address, and the zip code. After entering the zip code, the city and the state will auto-populate. At the name and address menu, you can make any corrections to the previously entered information, as well as enter the name of the company officer, his or her title, and the contact phone number. Once all this is entered, exit the name and address menu. You'll now be prompted for your preparer code. Enter your code number and press the enter key. You will now be at the heading information menu. If this is a fiscal year company, you'd enter the beginning and ending dates in the fiscal year menu. Next, select the other information menu. In this menu, you'll find the remainder of the heading information options. If you'll be electronically filing the return, be sure to enter the company's date of S-Corp election and enter the business code. You may select this icon for an entire list of codes or this icon for the list of business categories. The date of S-Corp election and the business code are electronic filing requirements for S-Corporation returns. Next, exit to the heading information menu and then exit to the main 1120S menu. Again, the 1120S program's input screens are very similar to the individual 1040 program's input. You'll notice that on the screen, the program follows the flow of the 1120S form. The income section is first. To enter the income received, select Income Menu or simply double-click on the underlined word Income. 
on the 1120S form input area. Here, you'll be able to enter any income received by the company. Pressing the F10 key on your keyboard will allow supporting statements at various points throughout the program. Next, select the Deductions menu. Enter any deductions that are related to the business. When finished, exit the Deductions menu. With an 1120S return, you'll also want to create a K1 for each shareholder. Select Schedule K Distributive Share Items to set up the K1s. Choose Schedule K1 Input and select New to enter the first K1. You'll be asked if the shareholder is an individual. For our example, we'll select Yes. Enter the personal information of the shareholder, including social security number, first name, middle initial, and last name, the street address, the zip code, and the city and state. Also, enter the year-end percentage of ownership, beginning percentage of ownership, and the number of days beginning percentage applied. Once all of the shareholder's information has been entered, select OK. The percentage of ownership will automatically prorate the income and deductions. If the K-1 needs to be manually adjusted, select Distributive Share Items and then select which menu option needs to be changed or verified. Exit the Distributive Share Items menu and exit the Schedule K-1 Edit menu. If you have additional shareholders, Click the New button on the Shareholders Input screen. Repeat the previous process until all shareholders have been entered. Click Exit when finished and then exit the Schedule K menu. Depending on the receipts and assets at year-end, you may need to access Schedule B, Other Information Menu, and answer question number 13. If the receipts and assets are less than $250,000, answer this question yes. Read the statement on the screen carefully. To electronically file the return, select Mark Return Electronic. The Corporate Officer's PIN, Signature Date, and the ERO's PIN will automatically be entered. Review the information and click Exit. Be sure to print the IRS e-file signature authorization for your client to sign. You can now exit to the 1120S menu. Next, exit the 1120S menu. Check the receipt menu for the correct fees. Exit and then mark the return as complete.
For the business package e-file procedure, watch the video e-filing a business return. Thanks for watching the TaxLayer Pro tutorial video working with the business package.